All right, I'm sitting here with an amateur boxer, Dylan Prosser. Capes on our senior social media, a lot you're posting here at uh, Madfit. How's things been? Oh, it's been going great here. Um, ever since I've been at Cape Town, things are going well. I'm working with a great coach and a great team, so I'm happy here in Cape Town. You come from where? Uh, so I'm actually a bit from all over. Uh, I was born in Joburg. I grew up there until I was about 10, and then I moved to Australia for most of my schooling. Then I, that's where I started boxing, and then I came back to live with some family in Derbs, and then I met Matt, and then now I'm here in Cape Town. Chasing the dream. Chasing the dream. How old are you now? I'm um, 23. 23 years old. Talk to us a bit about your amateur background as well. I think a lot of people at home would like to know. 100%. So I started my amateur background in 2018 in Australia. Started boxing when I was about 15. Waited a couple of years. I had about five amateurs there in Oz. Um, all, all went my way. Um, and then I came to South, I came to South Africa. Uh, I was living in Durban. And unfortunately, there wasn't much boxing going on there And uh, as, a, as an amateur. So I was training with a local guy there in Hillcrest. And... Uh, then basically he took me to my first fight there in uh, Kwama Shu Township there and uh, it was quite an intense uh, uh, environment. Um, I ended up getting my first ever knockout in the first round. Then I, I posted that video on social media and then maybe a day later Coach Matt messaged me and he just asked me to come to Cape Town for a free trial. So I came for a month and uh, I, liked, I liked working with Matt. I was, met Matt new for a week. Then I got put in my first fight with Coach Matt. I won that fight. Then I decided to, you know, move, pack my bag, pack my car from Durban and drove all the way to Cape Town. Uh, I was living, li living locally and uh, then just started uh, the amateur scene with Coach Matt, you know. I was a couple of vibrant sports, local uh, amateur events. Then I went to, my, to Western Province, the, uh, not last year, the year before, and I, and I uh, won both fights there, sending me to, to SA Champs. And uh, I did quite well in SA Champs. I went up against uh, quite a tough op opponent, Gero Tesa, just had his pro, pro debut recently. Gave me one of my best fights uh, to date. I learned a lot in that fight. Fell, fell short of the, of the victory, um, but it gave me a lot of experience. The next fight after that was one of my best fights to date. Um, one of my quickest knockouts again. Um, and then yeah, a couple more amateurs, and then we went through the system again this year. Western Province champ times two. Then again to SA's and had a great experience there. Great essays this year, you didn't, you didn't fight in your correct weight division, you actually stepped out of your comfort zone. Yeah, 100%. So I was planning to fight in the light heavyweight division, uh, but due to technical difficulties uh, at the event, I ended up fighting in the cruiserweight division. So the guys were a lot bigger than me, uh, but I was still able to hang in there and I won my, the first fight. And then unfortunately I lost the, the semi-finals. Should have been the finals that fight. Um, but so sometimes how the draw works is sometimes you fight once, sometimes you fight multiple times. And I went up against quite a big puncher, one of the hardest uh, punches I went up against uh, so far. He was a lot bigger than me and uh, this guy, he's had a, a decent amount of knockouts and he wasn't able to put me away. And I thought I did enough to win, to win the fight, but unfortunately sometimes in amateur boxing you've got to win cleanly. And uh, he was the current SA champ, so I learned a lot. And I proved and I prove, um, proved to myself again that I belong in, in, in boxing as a as an athlete, and very excited for the journey ahead. One of your teammates here uh, took a gold at uh, at the event. So, I mean, proud of her? Yes, I'm extremely proud of her because she came in came in last minute. She wasn't originally selected for the Western Province team. Uh, she got a last minute flight to PE, selected as a wild card, and she came in and she didn't lose a single round. She fought three times cutting weight the whole week and I know from experience it's extremely tough and uh, she, she basically came in there and just blew everybody out the water she did so well enough to win the gold medal and then uh, also get the best female fighter of the, of the tournament so super proud so that's, that's actually crazy I mean the, the amount of time that she spent in the ring to work getting there I mean that's huge for you how many more amateur goals do you have? So uh, I think uh, the, the rest of my goals are just to finish this year out as an amateur. Um, obviously, we'll see, see what uh, my team and my coach says for next year. But uh, we're aiming for, uh, to go get the license next year and then see if we have a couple amateur fights. We have a couple amateur fights. Uh, but yeah, aiming for a couple more amateur fights this year. Um, hoping to fight on my coach Matt's event. Uh, end of the year, potential rematch with this guy I just fought now in my division. So we'll just have to see. And uh, I don't know if you've noticed the Cape Townian professional boxing scene isn't really like huge. So what, how do you plan on navigating that? Well, like uh, I'm, I'm with my coach uh, f forever. He's my, he's my coach and I'm willing to work with him 
basically where heavy he's keen to take me. The cool thing is I've got an Australian passport, so if it gets to that stage where we need to go overseas, I've got an option to get there. I've got family that live there as well, so it makes it a little bit easier. Um, but uh, my coach Matt's working with uh, Sam Knock, Knock Boxing. He's from Scotland and, and he will potentially get us to a level, uh, I just need to get to 5 and 0 fights here and then we'll see, he might take me overseas and we go from there. But I just follow coach's instructions and see what he says. Who's your, who's your boxing hero, your inspiration? Oh, I've actually, I've got a, quite a few actually and to be honest, most, most of them come from Madford itself. So like uh, one of my biggest mentors here at the gym is Dwayne Dodzo. I've always looked up to him as an amateur and a professional. Uh, also as a great teammate and also I've got my coach Matt, he's one of my biggest mentors. Outside of the gym, I'll probably say uh, one of my favourite fighters is Canelo Alvarez. I quite like his style, everybody's favourite fighter. Um, but you know, yeah, I would say also my grandpa, he was, a, he was a professional boxer back in the day. I think he fought one of the tie wheels and so he was the guy who originally sparked the, sparked the dream. Well, what's your grandfather's name? My grandpa is Alan, uh, Alan Stienhuisen. Alan Stienhuisen. Sure, uh, Alan, so we'll be able to have a look at that and identify that. He's, uh, yeah. So, I mean, turn pro next year. I mean, how many fights do you think you're going to get up front? I mean, have you got these expectations? We haven't got, uh, I haven't got any expectations just because I know one thing I've learned about South Africa is not put your expectations too high. You never know what can kind of happen. You know, so I think the goal is to is to have the debut here in South Africa, and then we just take it from there. You know, see how the first fight goes, and if we feel like we're gonna push a game in South Africa, we will push a game. If I've got a couple connections overseas that I can contact, if we would like to maybe potentially have a fight that side, but for now we just focus on the rest of the year, uh, finishing the amateurs, and then aiming for the getting the license, and then however coach wants to do it, we we do it the way coach wants to do it. And then could you explain your, your boxing style to, to you know, people that don't know, haven't seen you before? So I would like to uh, uh, say my style is more of a uh, come forward type of aggressive style. Um, it's adjusting slightly from just using my big punches to my boxing as well. I would say uh, I'm quite good at coming forward, getting on the inside, especially because the, 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 the elite level of boxing I've competed against was tall big punches so it forced me to practice getting on the inside and yeah I would say quite aggressive um, and I like to look for the big punch. As a pro what weight division would you like to start at? So I think we'll probably start at light heavyweight 79 kgs and then see how it goes from there. My body weight fluctuates quite a lot so it's quite easy for, for me to get to 79 kgs and then after the first fight we will probably like, most likely try to go to super middle um, but yeah that's probably the end goal is probably super middle. I was hoping you weren't going to say cruiserweight because there's a massive yeah. jump. Cruiserweight, unfortunately, I could feel uh, I was able to hang in there with the cruiserweights and I was able to push them back and do quite well. It's just unfortunately my power goes out a little bit just because they're a little bit too big for me. So also they use their weight on me a little bit like that. Uh, yeah, it ties me down. But if it had to be, I would be able to comp compete in that division. I would just have to change my, my training and I'd have to obviously adjust the, the diet and all that sort of stuff. It can be done. But obviously, I'd, I'd rather try and uh, fight in the in the light heavyweights and potentially super middle in the future. All right, and I know you're going to be an amateur for, for the second half of the year, and then obviously compete for your license uh, in about March, April next year. What's your message to prospective promoters, networks that maybe you're going to look to pick you up for your debut? Well, look, uh, I would I would want to say that uh, you're not going to get any anybody with a bigger heart than myself. Uh, I I live, eat, breathe, sleep boxing. I do it. 24/7 a day. I train extremely hard. Sometimes a little bit too hard, uh, but you know I'm I'm here. I'm ready. I'm ready to do whatever it takes to to get to the top of South African boxing. All right. Thank you very much, Dylan. We'll chat with you soon. Perfect. Thank you so much.